All right, Alan, we're talking the MAC Championship Saturday uh, at Ford Field in Detroit. Yep. Um, Akron against Toledo. And Akron, like, they're doing it with mirrors. It's kind of the well, improbable the one, team. The one thing they've done, if you go back and look at it, yes, you can say they've done it with mirrors, and I would agree with that. But the biggest thing they've done underneath that is they haven't beat themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, other teams, you can say the other teams have, have uh, turnovers or whatever, uh, not taken Akron seriously. Uh, have put Akron in position where Akron took advantage of their opportunities. Uh, a little bit of smoke and mirrors, like you say, but the bigger thing is they they didn't throw away any games. Right. They won a lot of them. Okay. So I guess you gotta got to give them credit for that. Yeah. But now they're in the championship game, and they got to step up, and that's going to be the question, can they do right. it? Right. Okay, well, the first time these two teams met in the regular season, Pretty yeah. one-sided, Toledo 48-21. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's different this time? What can well, change? Well, the big difference is is that quarterback where uh, uh, Akron has gone to uh, Cato Nelson. And Cato uh, uh, first stepped in at Miami, and they lost that game. But then the next week had a huge game against Ohio University, which was the favorite to win the MAC East division that Akron ultimately won. And then, uh, again, did not do anything to hurt his team against Kent State even though uh, two minutes, you know, Kent State killed itself mm -hmm. with two bad minutes of, of football, and that allowed Akron to get into the championship game. So Cato Nelson's the difference. He's a dual-threat quarterback, uh, and uh, while Toledo's obviously seen dual-threat quarterbacks, they haven't seen him. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a difference. Plus, it's inside. The other thing that's been wild about these MAC championship games once these teams get indoors and the weather's out of play, you know, we've seen some wacky stuff. So yeah. that, that plays in Akron's favor, too. Well, Toledo, you're talking Cato Nelson, but Toledo, the, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum with Logan Woodside. Oh, Woodside's the best quarterback in the league. Uh, I'd say a 1 and a 1A. I still like uh, 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 Nathan Rourke at, at Ohio University, who I thought had a fantastic season. But Logan Woodside's probably going to be the Burton Smith Award winner. He's got all the passing records for Toledo, played a tough schedule, uh, which they came through, had some injuries, uh, particularly in the wide receiver ranks that they still overcame. So, yeah, he's, he's the real deal now, and he'll be the, you know, I don't think the game will be too big for him. Uh, I, I think they'll be solid in that regard. Good.